Hello everyone and welcome back to Circus Tutorials. Today's video is going to be part one of our ball juggling series and that is going to be how to get started with juggling three balls. So what are we going to need? Well, to learn to juggle, we need something to juggle. In this case, I'm using three juggling balls from Play Juggling. A link for them will be down below if you'd like to check them out. They have excellent juggling products. Uh, but really, you just need something you can toss and catch easily. That can be tennis balls or baseballs, rolled up socks, bean bags, whatever you can easily toss and catch to learn to juggle with. I do recommend something about the same size and same weight. There can be a bit of a difference, but it does make it a little bit harder if they're vastly different. Once we have three objects, we can learn how to juggle three balls. Step one of learning to juggle three balls, pretty simple. Step one is one ball. We're going to have our hands up and toss from one hand to the other. Up, catch, up, catch. We do want to toss with both hands and try to get it to the same height. Once we can do that, we're going to try to be a little more attentive about our throws, a little more accurate. And the way that we're going to do that is imagine like you're holding a box or a picture frame. And then whichever hand you throw from, you're going to aim to the opposite corner of the box. Boop. So if I, when I throw from my right, it's going to peek a little off to the left. And the left peeks a little off to the right. This is a little over exaggerated just so you can see it for the video. When you do it for real, it's mostly going to be up with just a tiny tip like that. A good thing to think about also is you're going to be throwing from the inside of your body, catching on the outside of your body. So your hands are going to make kind of scooping motions. Throw from the inside, catch on the outside. Throw from the inside, catch on the outside. Just like that, back and forth. Once we can do this without chasing around too much, we're ready for step number two. But first, some common problems. Common problems with one. Uh, one common problem is that you have to chase around a little too much, and that's just going to come from practice. If you're having to chase around, just to practice tossing and catching until you can do it without chasing around. Next most common one is that one hand will do a nice throw, and then the second hand will just hang it across. Usually the dominant hand will do a throw, non-dominant hand will toss it across. This works fine for one and two, but for three it does make it a lot harder, so we're going to avoid that for now. We want to toss with both hands. A good way to fix this problem is start with your non-dominant hand. So if your non-dominant hand is doing the hand across, start with that hand first. Toss, catch. And make sure that we're going nice and slow. We don't have to keep it going really fast and back and forth. Toss, stop. Toss, stop. You don't have to go fast at this step. You want to focus on making good throws. Once we can do that, we are ready for step number two. Step number two, two balls, one in each hand. Same thing, we're gonna to aim to the opposite corner of that picture frame. But this time, we are going to, right when it starts coming down, we're gonna throw the second ball underneath. So it looks like this, toss, toss, catch, catch. This part is all about learning the timing and the rhythm of juggling. So wait for that ball to just start coming down and toss underneath. Once we can do that starting with our dominant hand, we are going to learn it with our non-dominant hand also. So you can think of this as step 2.5. So a good thing that you can do is if you have two different colored objects you're juggling, in this case I have a blue and a yellow, say I'm always going to start with the blue. So when I do this, I start with my right, now it's to my left, so now I'm gonna start with my left. Toss, toss, right again, nice and slow. Again, stopping after each set of throws. We don't wanna just be, randomly going much, nope, stop, do the two throws, reset, two throws. I switched the yellow ball there, but it's okay. And there are some common problems with step number two, but if you can do this, ready for step number three. If not, stick around, common problems. Common problems with two, number one is hanging that ball across. Don't feel like you have enough time. Juggling is much, much slower than you think it is. You have enough time. So wait for that to start coming down and toss the second one. It's all about finding that rhythm right now. So if both are going up at the same time, you're going too fast. But then on the opposite side of that token, if you're catching it before you throw that second one, you're going too slow. 
The rhythm really is right when that one peaks and just starts coming down. That moment of weightlessness is when you throw the thing out. And make sure that we work both hands. If you can do the right hand really easily, but the left hand you can't and it's all ugly, work on both hands. Another thing to focus on is make sure that each throw gets to the same height. Common is that one hand will not throw quite as high as the other one. Usually it's the second throw, whichever throw that is. Make sure we try to get them to the same height or even try to think about getting that second throw higher than that first throw. At first, then once you get the hang of it, they'll get to the same height and we'll be ready for step number three. Step number three, you probably already guessed this, but three balls. For the start, we're gonna start with two in one hand, one in the other. I'm right-handed, so I start with two in my right, one in my left. If you're left-handed, two in the left, one in the right. And I do recommend that you learn to start with both hands eventually, but right now, just focus on your dominant hand. So, we're gonna do step number two while holding that third ball. We're not gonna throw that third ball yet, just do those first two throws. Throw, throw, one, two. Not doing the third one yet, just get used to doing that. Tossing with two in the hand, and then also catching with two in that hand. Once we do that, we're gonna try the actual jump. But only three throws and three catches. It's much better to have three nice and pretty throws than say seven ugly throws that are hitting each other and all over the place. Focus on nice, easy throws. The best part about juggling is that we can break it down into smaller steps and work our way up. It's much better to work with intent and have good building blocks for later on. It'll help us progress much, much quicker. So three good throws. One, two, three. Reset back to your down. One, two, three. At first, that third throw is going to seem quite hard. It'll seem like that ball kind of sticks to your hand that you don't quite have enough time to throw it or it'll come out like real funky and low. Just stick with it, take a breath, try to slow it down a bit. One, two, three, catch. Once we do three, we're gonna do four now. Four throws, four catches. The nice part about even numbers is you end back on the same hand so you don't have to do that reset. So one, two, three, four. Back to my right hand. One, two, three, four. Back to my right hand. Then five and then six and work our way up. Once you can get about 10, you can generally keep it going for pretty long, as long as you want. But again, we're gonna make sure that we work our way up in nice controlled steps and have a nice, pretty easy pattern. But some of you might be saying, mine doesn't look like that, I'm having problems, but that's okay, because right now we're going to go over some of those common problems. Common problems with three balls always comes down to the same thing, and that is going too fast. Take a breath, slow down, think about what you're doing. A good rule here is that there's only ever one ball in the air at a time. So it might look like there's a lot of stuff going on, but really when you're juggling, there's only one in the air at a time. So in this case, pink, yellow, blue, pink, yellow, blue, nice and slow. And if you think about just one hand at a time, right, 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 very, very slow. When you think about it that way, now it doesn't seem too fast. So just like, oh, throw, throw, throw. And it really is that speed. Throw, throw, throw. Other common problems, again, come back to feeling like you don't have enough time. So you might say, oh, I can get like seven or eight throws, but then it starts getting out in front of me. And then I either have to start walking with it or it gets so far out in front of me that I can't keep the juggle going. And that again comes back down to rushing and feeling you're going too fast. In that case, it's we're not following through with the throw and we're letting go too low. So if we let go too low, that angle of our hand is going to be bad and then the ball is going to naturally travel and drift forward, making sure that you follow through with that throw. And sometimes you'll feel like you're going good and then randomly just one will go forward just because you had a weird throw. That's why we want good throws. So make sure that you're following through. Another thing is that we want to make sure that we're doing the scooping motions and standing on a nice flat plane. We want the juggling balls to go side to side, not forward and back. You can juggle this way, but it really does not help later on. And, and we'll go over that in future videos of learning different tricks and things like that. If we're having to go towards ourselves, it really does not help with that. So we're going to focus on nice flat 
plane, almost like there's a sheet of glass in front of you, and we want to keep those on that sheet of glass. I'll go over one more common problem. If you have a different problem, make sure you comment down below. Send me a video. I'll happily help you out. But one that I had all of these problems, by the way, when I was learning. I had the going too fast, going too slow, throwing forward, going towards me. A fun one is where one hand throws forward and one hand turns back, and now all of a sudden you're rotating. That was a fun one. And again, it all will come back down to trying to slow down, relax, follow through with those throws, and think about what you're doing. If you don't want to just be tossing randomly. That won't lead to anything good. Think about what we're doing and slow down. Using that advice, if you're having any problems, go back to step two. If you're having problems with step number two, go back to step number one. If you're having problems with step number three, go back to step number two. And if you have problems with future videos, come back to easier videos. It's all about breaking it down, making good progress, and making good fundamental building blocks to work for further up. With that being said, that's going to be how to juggle three balls. If you like this video, please obey the shirt. You know what to do, it's YouTube. Uh, and get other people involved. Once you get your friends involved, push each other a little bit, you'll progress much quicker. And then we will be going over some really fun things you can do with multiple people juggling later on if that's something you'd like to see. As always, if there's something you wanna see, mention it down below and we'll get to it. I've been Chuck Clark with Circus Tutorials and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> that's all, that's all. I'm not actually gonna throw you. I'm not gonna throw you. <laughs>